and welcome to the first ever video in this Tesla Model Y. Now, we're going to be showing you all the amazing features this car has to offer and showing you around it. Let's get into the video. First feature I'm going to show you is actually still in this part of the car. I just need to tilt the camera upwards. Can't see my face that well. However, this is our, uh, some people call it like a mirror, but it's not really a mirror, is it? I'm sorry, this camera's being really annoying. So basically, you put it down, it can go side to side and it can even go long range. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's got a really nice, I can't show you it from this angle, really nice mirror with two LED lights, which is always nice to have on a car. It's really flexible. You can have it here if the sun's there. You can have it there. You can even have it here and then put with the metal thing there so it extends. It's also a magnet so it makes it really easy. Next feature is the windows. Remember, I'm just showing you the front windows. However, in the back, windows they're more different when I mean that I just mean that they can't go all the way down however with these windows they go all the way down just like normal windows on your normal average car sadly you, you have you sorry not sadly which is good you can just press the button once and it goes up quickly or you can hold it put it, adjust it where you want that's really nice moving on we've got this seatbelt which is actually uh, a quite a weird shape I'm just gonna unplug it and look at this quite not a normal seatbelt in its style but it's still much nicer and never once before in this car has it got trapped here like it does in most other cars let's move on as you may have saw in the intro of this video you can adjust the seat any way you want it can go backwards it can go forwards you probably can't see it that well on camera was doing it all the way forwards like you I haven't actually seen how forwards it can go yet oh oh it's like it's eating me yeah oh my god you have that if you're like trapped but it's really easy to adjust it every time you get in the car and boom nice and simple also in the scene there is this grass roof which dims so if it's dark it will go dimmer if it's lighter it will go lighter just so it gets light in and maybe during the night you want it to be dark it will just be dark and in the day etc etc now the moment you've all been waiting for let me show you inside the car not just this one seat so when you enter your tesla model y you have these amazing wood panels which are nice and smooth and you have a glove box however you can't open it you have to hold the left scroll wheel button enter your pin code which i'm obviously going to show off camera and it opens up and you've got this lovely simple uh glove box which is really nice you have also got not just the screen yet we're going to move on to that later we've also got our wireless phone uh, chargers where you just put your phone as you can see simple it is charging nice as you know you can buy tesla accessories so normally it just comes like this but we've bought this thing which basically it two chargers down there and you plug them in nice and simple and easy access for stuff like that to go into for example keys next thing we bought from our good friend jack sucks at life which is not this which is like a nice table if you want to put phones keys whatever there this thing where you can store anything you want we've got some money in there right now and you just shut this down and it's quite simple you just click it obviously and there you go nice and nice and easy to pull up and you've got it right there and it's also nicely hidden if you want to find anything valuable in there the steering wheel is smaller than most average car steering wheels. It's got this nice Tesla logo on the front, like other cars. You've got the windscreen wiper buttons there, and on the other side you've got the buttons to drive. We've only got two pedals on a Tesla, the brake and the accelerator, because who, you don't need anything else with an electric car. Now we're going to move on to the back. In the back of the car, it's nice and simple. You've got one, two, three seats, and a bit in the middle, which comes down and is like a handrest. And... It leads on to a huge boot, which is totally massive, bigger than most Fords, and like twice the size of a Tesla Model 3. Most people get confused when ordering a Tesla, because as you can see, this is where the window button is. And that is where the open door button is, which as you can see, obviously opens the door, and that shuts all the aircon off and all the car off. Now, the moment you all wanted, 
the screen. When you go into your Tesla screen, you're always met with a navigation because you don't really need anything else for a car on the main screen. You've got four options here. The first option is change it to satellite, which I prefer because it's like nice and easy. Also, it's 100% always clear because of you can purchase premium connectivity. We've also got this traffic button, which basically tells you where the traffic is. You can see all those uh, yellow lines. And also red if it's really bad traffic. Now this is one of the nice button. This just shows every where everything is. That's a nice button. And you've got where superchargers and normal chargers are. The red ones mean superchargers. And the other ones just mean chargers. Which is quite cool. On the car you've got the bonnet and the uh, boot. However on American cars it's the front and the trunk. Personally I prefer the boot and the bonnet. Just because it's more normal. Uh, down here you've got your music bar now your music bar it can be switched with like loads of boring statistics and the psi but this you can play any song i'm not going to play it because i'll get copyright claimed but still nice and cool on the passenger side you've got your volume button where you can edit the settings of your volume but you don't need to do that now or and you've got your aircon button you can either adjust it there or you can have the coolest aircon i think i've ever seen basically you see this wind you can put it anywhere in the car and for example the wind could be going that way and then it would blow on this side this side or you move it the other way and it'll blow on this side it's a very cool aircon system you've also got camp dog and keep mode keep basically means keep it the same the dog version basically means it's good for your dog, and the cat version basically means it will remain cool overnight because you're sleeping in it. Also got the seat warmers, which have an auto mode, which is a nice touch, and same with the steering wheel heater. Let's move on. Sadly, Tesla have not done a store yet, so they've only got their built-in app, built apps. They still have stuff like Apple Music, though. So you've got Canada Apple Music, car karaoke, toy box, which we'll move on to later because that's really fun, and then we've got dash cam and uh cool if we press these three buttons you've got every single app dash cam basically saves energy to tell your battery calendars you know calendar messages messages zoom zoom you know in lockdown theater is basically youtube which you can watch my videos on it later and netflix disney twitch and tesla tutorials you've also got the arcade where you can play games with a toy box which will do go on later browser which you can basically it's just like google uh, manual is just a tesla manual spotify you know what it is a music software bluetooth you just connect your phone radio is just normal radio karaoke is where you basically sing we'll move on to that later tune in is the radio platform and oh my gosh i've spent too much time our uh, title is basically also a podcast platform and apple music as you probably are aware of is a very very good music platform <gasps> i need to catch my breath Okay, in the top corner, you've got the SOS, that basically calls emergency services. We're not going to click it now because I really, really, really don't want that to happen. You've also, when you're driving, you've got the passenger airbag option, which will basically tell you if you want to turn on or turn off the passenger airbag. Okay, we're moving on to YouTube, and as you can see, you've got all the options. You've got me right there. Yes, Wayne 11 is on the Tesla, which is very cool. Uh, got all your normal videos, things you like to watch your channel blah 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 let's check it nice that hopefully we can hit 3,000 subscribers by uh, my birthday which is in september the 8th so please can we try and hit that i know we might not but still We've got netflix which i'm not going to click on and disney and twitch and tesla two trods basically tell you how all the car works let's move on to the games the games are really fun you've got vampire survivors you've got the battle of the polytopia uh mahajong i hope i'm pronouncing that Sudoku, Skyforce, which is basically like a flight simulator, but it's not really. Uh, Solitaire, Cat Quest, Fall, Fallout Shelter, Star. Oh, uh, you can read these. Backgammon, uh, Cooper. This one is my favourite. Beach buggy racing because they've engineered. You can actually use the pedal and the steering wheel to drive in beach buggy racing, which is incredibly cool. Chess and 2048. Think as a maths game, so I'm not going to do that. Let's move on to my favourite part, the toy box. No it is time for the toy box so we've got our colorizer where you can basically change the car to any color you like however i always prefer the original white coat you've got the light show which basically does a show in two sounds volume and basically the windows go up and down it says tesla it's really cool boombox is another favorite of mine basically you can either speak through the megaphone like like this or you can play the current media, which you're playing there. 
or you can play any sound you want. My favourite is fart, and that's really cool. Emissions now. Now on the emissions, basically you can fart on demand, even outside the car, which is really fun to do. And you're in a parking lot, for example, at Tesco's tracks, you can make your own music and even add it to your boom bo uh, your light show. You've got romance where you're with someone special, you can do that. You've got Sketchpad where you can just draw. Mars when you're basically on a diff on the map. Instead of being Google Maps, you're in Mars. That's when you're like driving on a, uh, your own road and you don't need a sat nav. Santa, where you play Santa Claus. I really don't want to get copyright claims, so I'm not going to do that. And Rainbow Road basically means when you go into uh, like a autopilot, it will go rainbow. Let's get to driving. On the map, you've got your destination of arrival, what charge you're gonna be when you're there, and how long the journey is. So we've just parked our Tesla and uh, at our destination, and the only annoying feature is the only way you can unlock the side door is by going the whole way round, apart from if you use the app. Opening the door, going inside the car, and pressing the lock and unlock button and then hopefully you should easily be able to go to the passenger door and unlock it that's the only annoying thing about unlocking the tesla now i'm going to move to the cameras on the tesla you've got this camera which is just a back camera with the number plate and you've got these two other cameras displaying the other two cars or the uh, wing mirrors which will help you at junctions. And when you click the indicator, these turn up there, so you always know when you're driving. I did say we were going to show you karaoke later. Karaoke, remember? Basically, this is just it. It's really simple. Basically, it's the letters, and they're being scrolled so you can read them. That's right, the Minecraft Noobs Pro podcast is everywhere on every platform, so go check it out. Thanks, Hassan. As I said before, the Tesla has a light show, and let me show you it. And that was my first ever Tesla video. If you liked it, please drop a like and hit that subscribe and notification bell because we've got loads of videos coming soon. As I mentioned, Minecraft Noob Pro. I also recommend PS get a Tesla charger because it's so easy and it plugs in straight to your Tesla.